So, welcome to our playthrough of our blind playthrough of our episode Arden playthrough. Yay! <laughs> and we're both blind on this one. This yeah. is our first Wii play. We're both blind. We have no idea what's coming up Ooh. outside of trailers. This is pretty exciting. Boom! Okay. Shall I? You shall. We haven't even pulled up the menu yet. <laughs> My computer computer monitor might pick up some of the volume. <laughs> not my TV. Definitely my, not my TV. It did save the settings, oh, so good. we're good. good. Subtitles on, 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 all on. It should remember everything else yeah, then if that's it what it saves. Yeah. Perfect. Good. So we should be good to go. Mm. Let's go right in. Kingly Clash, oh dear lord. It's you versus uh, oh. Um, oh. Remus. <sighs> you know, I still have not beaten a single one of those special boss fights on any of these. I'm sorry. I got really close with Noct. And I got really close with Arnea. Which is funny because I I did it with Gladio. Yeah, you beat Kor. <laughs> for crying out loud. Okay. Here we go. Ah! Oh, <laughs> select a difficulty. Normal. Okay. I usually play these on easy, but okay. That's Arden. He's going to be OP anyway. That's true. That's true. I have been hearing that, that his, like, his moveset is just ridiculous. Having turned the Empire to shambles and shrouded the world in darkness, Arden, erstwhile healer of those who ailed, now sits atop the Lucian throne. Denied him by the crystal some two millennia ago. Oh, the infamous loading. <laughs> ah. I think the um the bit on fire down there at the bottom is um set dressing from episode Ignis. You think so? I think so. I definitely think so. Might be right. I mean, why not use it if you've got it? You just need, you know, rubble and fire, etc. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> Fiery rubble is definitely a speaking. A plus. Speaking on behalf of like graphic designers. Not that I am one, but speaking as someone <laughs> with experience in graphic design, that's what I'm seeing. Gotcha. I hope this is the only load screen. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be. There will probably be at least one more. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be as bad as this one, though. This is like, it's got to load the whole, like, this is why the patch that came the other night was so big, I think. <laughs> Fair enough. Is loading all of this stuff into the actual game itself. I mean, all we need to do is put some elevators in there like Mass Effect. <laughs> Oh, we have dates now. That's new. Long ago, there lived a man, blessed by the gods and revered by the people as their savior. His name was Arden Lucis Kylum. <laughs> He's like you and talking he about was me. to have served as the first king of Lucis. We have seen the opening anime prologue. Yes, yes we have. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry, Tufkin. We're grinding a bit here. Probably a lot of it. Well, yeah. I would imagine so. Hmm. In other news, 
18 years ago, right? the Border Patrol has been reported MIA since sometime before dawn this morning. Maybe I wasn't paying the attention. The officer <laughs> has been identified as 28-year-old Mars Sapientia. Although Officer Sapientia allegedly reported for duty at his appointed time, fellow officers say he disappeared soon after and has not been sighted mm. since. <laughs> oh, did you see the reflection? I did. Wearing his border patrol fatigues. Anyone with information on Officer Sapientia's whereabouts are requested to contact the Crown City Police immediately. And now a word from the Public Information Bureau. Today marks the anniversary of the founding of the Kingdom of Lucis. The Founders Day Committee has prepared a number of attractions in Happy honor of this so weird. Including a parade <laughs> around the Citadel. As auspicious well as occasion. Ha! <laughs> Joke. All are welcome and right. encouraged. I know Top Gun, it's uh, they're festivities. great cutscenes. This has been a message from the Public Information Bureau. What about you? Now, onto the weather. Shouldn't you be looking for your buddy? Today in the Crown City, buddy? we expect mild oh, sunny no. weather with nothing but blue <laughs> I'm on special the assignment. may experience some inclement weather. Starting in the they said that the last he was seen, he was wearing his border patrol <sighs> fatigues. That's what this guy's wearing. Oh, gosh. I mean, he is the guy that they're looking for. He's probably killed him and, like, stuffed him in an alley somewhere. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> you piece of <laughs> wonderful home crap. Sweet home at last. Welcome to the New State Festival. In a moment, the parade will begin making its way through the city. King Regis is scheduled to participate <laughs> Return in the Return of the Savior is the name of the yep. quest. Ugh. I don't like Somnus, though. I don't like him now. <laughs> oh, he's, he was such a sleaze. Oh dear. Wow, it is really weird to hear that all big band style. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, it's the statue of the Founder King. I want to go say hi. That's nice, dear. Just don't wander off, you hear? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself. Dear. I am enjoying myself. I'm actually like at first I was trying to walk and then now I realize that you I can't go any I heard King Regis is going so. to be in the parade too. Let's head to Main Street. That sounds a lot like um Eden. They might you they may so? have gotten her to come in and and do voice work. The voice of Iris. I mean it's possible. Especially if if there's any chance that Iris actually has lines in this, if she's in it or anything. Nope, he does not go any faster than this. <laughs> Arden doesn't have a need to go any no, faster. No, no, he's in no hurry. He is so casual. Whoop! Apparently once you get out of here, you start running around. <laughs> he doesn't jump. <laughs> Oh, look, he's only got 2,156 HP. Oh man, <laughs> I feel I feel cheated then. <laughs> if that's all the HP he had, oh. <laughs> he needs a better walk, right? He needs a better walk. Oh, I'm noticing something. It looks hmm. like Twitch chat is not coming up. Uh oh. On the screen. Oh, I am. Trying to. Apparently, we're um we're not allowed to jaywalk here. There's no jaywalking allowed. Like there's a strict no jaywalking policy in uh, Insomnia. So this is the city Somnus built, built on the back of his own flesh and blood. Oof. Just look at them, free of care and unaware of the war beyond their wall. I mean, he has a fair point. In order to ensure the safety of all festival goers, we ask that you please follow all staff instructions. Vehicular access will also be limited in some areas around the Citadel for the festival's duration. In addition, traffic will be stopped entirely during the parade. We thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, I think we just got the explanation for why the road is so quiet there.
I don't want to go that direction. It's telling me to go that direction, but I kind of don't feel like being doing what I'm told right now. What need is there to worry when brick and mortar blinds them to the suffering outside? Why venture out into the world when you feel so safe within? <sighs> what a life to live. Again, all valid points. I'm just saying. I'm going this way. The fact that our nation still stands is all thanks to the kings who came before. This is the statue of the Founder King? I see the sculptor took quite a few liberties. <laughs> and that must be the King's castle. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a castle. I wouldn't call it a castle anyway. But that's just me. We saw a statue. I heard. <laughs> he was amused by how everybody's having such a good time. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back, Tuffy. <laughs> now, let the fireworks begin! <laughs> that was funny. Oh man. Cursed be the wind and the wings of the gods. All those poor people. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> fair, fair. Kill the prisoners. So now we're going to go back, I guess. Another loading screen. The year is ME 734. Spirits are high in the Crown City as all of insomnia prepares to celebrate Founders Day. The citizens of the Lucian capital are in for a rude awakening. Arden has returned to interrupt their peaceful reverie and wreak havoc upon his former home, first reflecting on the events that brought him here. Ooh, we have chapters. We have chapters, guys. We have chapters. Hold Darkness on tight. Awakens. Arden. Era. Oh, Arden. You can't expect me to believe that. <gasps> oh, but I do. You have my word. <laughs> well, in that case... <laughs> <sighs> he was so happy. You look exhausted, my love. Are you all right? <laughs> I am. Hmm. Her ancestor. Uh, mm -hmm. The gods bless me with a power and a purpose to cure people of what ails them. I must see their will be done. Hmm. Your devotion shall not go unnoticed. The gods will doubtless be watching over you. Just as I shall be watching over you every step of the way. <laughs> It seems to me the cure for your exhaustion is comprised of two things, one of which is rest. <laughs> oh? And the other? <laughs> is me. Oh. <laughs> Even Arden thought that was sappy. <laughs> Adorable, though. Oh, oh Era, pray be with me. What's that look? Why that look? That's so rude. Oh, 
one, so like 13 years before. He's alive. <laughs> Just as the ancient texts told. Ugh. Ugh. Who? Take him away. The face does not match that it voice. It doesn't because it's it's Steve Bloom. Yeah. It's also a prompto. Face. Yes, it's a prompto face. Does that mean that Robbie eventually turns into Steve Bloom? Apparently so. <laughs> Do that. We'll transport the subject to your location. And we'll have the medical team ready as planned. Can you see your feet here? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see your feet? What's the situation over there? Nothing to report. We're just. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. What was that? Probably your feet. <laughs> It was something there. Oh. Yeah. Adagium sighted! Adagium? Get it back in the cell. No matter what. We can't let that thing off this island. Ooh. Stop. Cease this. Cease this. At once! Overkill! Max deal more damage. Med is maximum HP falls every time he takes a hit. Oh, interesting. The game is over. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Dark and angry. Yeah. Back to the arsenal one. What do you mean since I can get a cat? Out of my way! You apparently recovered your health. Can I warp? Nope, but I can just attack with Muffet's apparently. Interesting. The mechanics are a little odd. I think I'm trying a little too hard to play Noctis here. And that's not what this is. No, he's he's more like playing Vader versus Luke Skywalker. I think he's supposed to just be like powerful force. He's not hitting very hard with the Royal Arms right now though. He also has this thing. Oh, maybe it's because I'm moving the stick. He likes to dodge around. Oh, I missed it. I don't know what that was about. That's okay. You go into overkill and you just annihilate everything in your face. That's why my lock on wasn't working. Whoa! Woohoo! Um. Oh, okay, that's cool. Woo! I like that. Oh, jeez. Did you launch him or what was that? Yes, I did. <laughs> Um, we had heard about the new Lord of the Rings game that's coming out. Um, we haven't really heard a whole lot beyond that, though. So, I'm not really sure how to take it quite yet. 
We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they do it right as opposed to um, the lore that came out with Shadows of uh, Mordor, which is... Uh, yeah. Good game if you like the mechanics. The lore is a little iffy. A finisher? Demonify. Whoa! That's... Well, that's our Let's play with this. Ooh, okay. That uses MP. My bad. Three, four, five. Enough. There you go. That's the triangle. Uh huh. Harvest their life force. Explanation of where that ability comes from, where he switches places with people. Because remember, that knows never explained. I didn't purge him of the scourge. I bestowed it upon him. Oh, incredible! His power is unbelievable. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he has a lot of issues. Yeah, he does. What? Eminent magic technological expert Verstale Versithia. Ber Versithia steals away to the Umbral Isle of Angel Guard and absconds with Lucius's darkest secret, Adagium. He escorts his subject back to one of the Empire's magic tech facilities to further study. Adagium. Now, it's pretty obvious that the 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 Royal Guard knew that something was in there and that it yes. couldn't leave. What gets me, though, is that he's been locked up for so long, nobody knows what he looks like anymore. Because yeah. he waltzes right into the palace later, and Regis has no clue what he actually is. Either that or he does, and just knows that he can't do anything about it because he's walking free at this point. He does appear very, very grumpy when Arden appears. That's in true. In that opening cutscene. That is true. Not the opening cutscene, you know what I mean. Kingsglaive. Yes. I want to see that movie again. <laughs> Especially after this, I think I definitely want to see it again. Illusory Truth. That was the, uh, that was the tutorial chapter. Era. Oh gosh. Somnus. Forgive me, brother. But the throne seats only one. Era. Oh, gods. No. Ten twenty two. It's three years later, isn't it? Hmm. A year later, I think. Arden is oh. Chief Visithia would like to see you. I'm losing track. I need to write this stuff down. <laughs> He's been gone a long time. All those books. He's getting caught up on a lot of history. Oh, wow. Right now, he's just a messed up dude who has nothing left to him and 
If we go forward, he becomes a complete asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Check. Rough and uncomfortable. <laughs> Chief Pacidius Journal 716 4 9th. Oh, we will, Tufkin. Thank you for coming by for, for what you were able to. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. It was good to see you. Sleep well. Uh, we have zero yen. Oh, huh. do they use new. yen in the empire? Apparently. Oh, huh. well, gil. They don't even technically use gil inside insomnia. Oh, that's true. Remember, that's like because the smaller... they got out. They got outside, and and Prompto was like, "What's a gil?" <laughs> okay. Maybe I can't under... actually look at it. Right. Well, back up. Me. Go to archives. archives. There, there go. we go. Data log. Rakshasa Rakshasa blade. blade. Ooh. I have one of those. In Final Fantasy XIV. I was but a boy when I saw my first demon. A wild canine run afoul of the plasmodia. The fear that should have consumed me was itself engulfed by an intense excitement. This guy is messed up. Yeah, okay. Rakshasa! He! A sword that has stayed at Arden's side for roughly 2,000 years, flying forth at his command. One half of a pair, the Rakshasa. Hmm. The Rakshasa blade was forged alongside the blade of the Mystic. Ah. Beloved glaive of Arden's younger brother, Somnus Lucis Kylum. Both blades possess different properties, forming a devastatingly destructive arsenal when wielded together. While one can assume both swords were imbued with the hope that the brothers Kylum would rule in tandem, envy and ambition ultimately tore the two apart. Oof. Interesting. I dig it. Yeah. I like that. I but like it when weapons never, have history like that. Since he was never an actual ruler, it doesn't become part of the uh, part of the royal arms. Like, right. you can't actually get the Rakshasa blade. Right. True. Can you imagine if Noctic could wield the Rakshasa blade along with the blade of the Mystic? The blade of the Mystic is the first one that you get, isn't it? Um, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff just lying around here. You can't, can't no, no jump. jumpy. <sighs> Nothing here to interest me. <laughs> Wrong button again. Alrighty. 321st. The plague that ravaged our star centuries ago died out for a time, and with it went all knowledge of the monsters it spawned. Yet since the discovery of a mutant strange of Plasmodia here in our very soil, that ominous world has re-entered our lexicon. That ominous word has re-entered our lexicon. Demon. Dormant for many years. If so, then the true spread of the star scourge may have only just begun. That makes zero sense! That makes absolutely no sense. Well, is it possible that that Arden was actually managed to stop it? That's what like, it sounds like. Like to hold it back, and then they imprisoned him, and when and and then you know, two thousand years later, the Empire finally finds Plasmodia and releases it again. This sounds like they didn't realize that's what they were doing, though. Mm -hmm. but, well, that's what I'm saying is like they're realizing, oh. We just did a thing. Yeah. And then Arden comes back and he finds out that he can bestow it upon people. Well, because... that's obviously what makes it go out of control later. But right. what I'm worried, what I'm wondering about is how on earth does them, like, expanding their imperial territory bring Plasmodia back? 
Well, like that makes zero sense. There might be more information sense. from further documents. It could I be know, based I on might their. Might as well head out. <laughs> <laughs> um, it might have something to do with how they build their technology. There's a couple of different things it could be. It's a virus, though. It's literally malaria. I know, but maybe it's a dormant strand that they came across. Doing what? <laughs> Just being locked. It could be locked away in a in a bucket somewhere. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry. I, I I have a hard time following Vesithia's logic in the first place. Fair. <laughs> it's weird not wanting to immediately kill right? these people. Right. Like I still kind of want to, but can't. <laughs> Just people. Mm -hmm. uh, I dare say this outfit wasn't tailor made. No, not even remotely. He actually—he <gasps> kind of looks like Noctis right now. Yeah, he does. The way he's jogging down the stairs. No, 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 no. His his pants. Oh, his pants. They only come, come halfway like... down his calves. Yeah. Just like Noctis's yeah. uh, pants, and he's got that oversized jacket. <laughs> That's funny. Not the most enthralling view. Well, it's still kind of pretty. No, I guess it is if, like literally you're just looking at the side of the mountain. Yeah, and it's snowy probably all the time. Yeah. Another one. You just want to like go a little bit and then read several at once, or? Sure. I mean, that's up to you. I don't want to go that way. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Muscle stimulant. I never use those. Not the most enthralling view. I'm gonna check it since it looks like we're about to. It's some get a story. Yeah. yeah. Shame doesn't show you what's new and what's not. No, but they're in order. They so are far. in order. True. This is four years later. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is recent. Yeah. Although I long dismissed it as some foolish fairy tale, the recent discovery of an ancient text tucked away in one of the kingdom's royal tombs has convinced me Adagium is real, stir and harness the secrets it holds we may indeed laugh last. <sighs> Pacithia is insane. Yeah, well, one could argue that he is the sole reason why all of this went out of control. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I mean, RNA had something to do with it. I just don't remember exactly what. Oh, there's another hallway here. Can you go that way? Never yes. mind. He has music playing in there. Yep. Come, have a seat. Voice coming out of that face. <laughs> I feel like they had a lot of fun recycling a lot of different models for this. <laughs> Gods above, we thank you for the bounty you have laid before us. Don't want your food getting cold, do you? <laughs> <laughs> come from another time. Are you enjoying your stay? No. <laughs> You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Those things hanging off of his gauntlets, they're driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh... Ask about the time. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. <laughs> you must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> He's just so not interested in this conversation right now. Yeah. 
What is this food? Huh. Meat. Cloned in this facility. Oh. oh. Cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocytes, and then we... Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's so... Oh, I don't... I feel so bad for him. I love that Vers Versdale has uh, this curl on his lip mm -hmm. the whole time. Yep. Like you can just see Was he thinks he's better than everybody me? else. A fruitful one. Oh, yes. You've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force. It gives you more. Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. And that he wants to try to replicate. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what Immortalis was about. I can't wait about. to unravel all your mysteries. What is it you want from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You two must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. Not the kingdom, no. Just... <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. Sethia, shut up. My feelings are none of your concern. <laughs> it is all his fault. Yep. Come along. No. <laughs> okay, fine. Now we can go through this hall. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Jeez. Hey, on earth do you have plants here? This is the fruit of my labor. A small portion of it, that is. Okay. I stuff. envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on. Have a look. Nope. Oh. funny. <laughs> Those documents, is that what it is showing me? Yeah, it's showing you the things to gather to move the plot forward. Gotcha. That's a new icon. I like that. Hmm? I also... That we do. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some more examining of it to do with everything that's going on here. Alright, let's take a look at some of these before we move on. Sure. Uh, 7 20 9 12. Acting on a tip we received from a friend in the private sector, we have sent an excava ex excavatory. Ex excavatory expedition. Oh my gosh, I Excavatory. hate his choice of words! <laughs> to the top of the Rock of Rabato. He's insane! What is he doing? To the wondrous day indeed. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna have a field day with all this. <laughs> Ooh. The Draconian. All the gods above least is known about the Draconian. Neither a tutelary deity nor a regular fixture in written record. Perhaps we can explore the matter in more depth by paying a visit to the Lucian's confidants in Tenebrae. 
Well, that's technically not correct either, because a crystal already existed before <coughs> the first king was chosen. So it's already wrong. It's already like the wrong. The tales are already incorrect by yeah. what they know it to be. Or so the dragon of Telpar. Is what this one's called. And if one of these Lucian legends is proven true, then perhaps the kingdom's fairy tales are more than mere rumors after all. Even the whispers about the undying. Oh boy. Tailpipe Crag, that's the big gorge, isn't it? Yep. That is supposedly the site of where the gods had their battle. I believe so. When the, the well, the five, I guess you could say, turned against Ifrit. Yes. The Battle of the Six. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, this is the first I've ever heard of a dragon, though. Mm-hmm. But that would actually add to the mystery of Bahamut. Yeah. As the Draconian. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Do watch your it. step, won't you? Oh, shush. I'll watch your step. Uh... What a death call? What's next to it, though? A new one. Almost looks like an Ifrit. <laughs> Almost. Like a 14 Ifrit, yeah. you're saying. Anything at the end of the hall? Just to make sure. Over here? Yeah. I think it's just a door. It okay. doesn't open. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Fair. Gotta be thorough. Yeah, sorry guys, we're being very thorough with this, but there's a lot of lore in here. Another one! Eight. No, nine. You're right. Sorry. Also, that's eleven. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a discovery both startling and astounding. The monster known as Adagium is none other than Arden Lucis Kylum, older brother to the founder king of Lucis. He's practically a god in his own right. Oh boy. Sorry, the font's a little rough sometimes. It is. We are looking across the room at a television screen. Yeah. Okay, historical analysis. Demons were first officially recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago. According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Okay. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Plasmodia is Infected weird. creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the star scourge. No, no, that's not right. Because they were killing demons before. So the Scourge is actually a mutant version of it. Mm -mm. No, I think there's, they just never recorded what it did. Because if you remember, um, Somnus was going through villages and killing anybody who he even suspected. Oh, yeah. But they showed like the pile of bodies and some of them were demons. Yeah. So it's, it's not a new phenomenon, it's just an undocumented one, I think. Okay. And if he got rid of it at that point in time, and it wasn't building to the point where it was demonizing people or demonifying, then it wouldn't have been in recorded history until it started to surge again. But I still, I'm curious why it surged in the last couple hundred years. Right. This model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun. Interesting. Very okay, interesting. then. 
I like how they have this like museum style. It is really cool. Thing I like set it. up. Yeah. This is a new one. Yep. The Undying Prisoner. Angel Guard. It is Angel Guard. Adagium. That is what the Lucians call the monster they imprisoned for 2,000 long years. His powers surpass those of any mortal, and his body is all but impervious to attack. It's no wonder the Founder King sealed him away on the Isle of Angel Guard. He undoubtedly feared this monster might challenge his reign. And the capture? It seems fortune smiles upon me. Though the Lucians kept him locked away for 2,000 years, I've managed to secure Radagium for myself. The raging winds and stormy seas may have cast all others away, but the waves parted for me that day and led the way. While I've yet to conduct any official research, the potential he proved in combat was most promising. I estimate his powers easily surpass anything mankind has ever seen. Perhaps this streak of luck has just begun. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I pored over the ancient texts and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. There's plenty more to look at. We're not leaving yet. Oh no, not at all. Curious what this I mean it's obviously Angel Guard, but it look the same. It does look a little different. It almost looks like a depiction of how it looked two thousand years ago, maybe. All right. Uh what's it? Oh. Oh come on. For science. Uh. Okay. I mean, it has a notification on it. I know, but... Okay. Yes. There you go. Go oh, inside, take a look. They, they have one... Several... Given the demon's aversion to light, they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls. Adagium, however, is different. Unlike his demon brethren, he can still function uninhibited in broad daylight. Of course, the ultraviolet rays harm him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah. Like he wears the hat. It stings. Yeah. Like the light of the sun. Perhaps uh, I'd best cover up. That's <laughs> why the hat, the poofy outfit and everything. Yeah. I mean, he's basically a vampire. <laughs> That's why he dresses like one. That's true. That's true. Because <laughs> otherwise he'd just be sizzling away. <laughs> Even model? Yeah. Oh. Sunlight. No, there, this is different wording. Uh -huh. Even model. Model that cheap... Basithia made by pouring plaster in demon shaped cavity. One of the hard rounds when the creature has been replicated with frightening accuracy. Its resemblance is so uncanny, one might easily mistake this recreation for the real thing. Okay, so maybe not completely new. But... Right. Right. Okay. The Storm God Ramu. Forbidden to set foot in the Isle, ruled with the royal family and forced with all their might. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. He was Supposedly... renamed Arden Izunia. I'm still curious where Izunia comes from. He mentions that, though, doesn't he? Something about how... Uh... You'll never guess where, uh, whose name Izunia was. Is what he right. says. And then Noctis gets sucked in the crystal and you don't hear anything yeah. else. You literally <laughs> never find out what Azunia actually means. Um, interesting that it mentions Ramu because Basithia made a comment about how anyone else who tried to get close to the island got swept away mm -hmm. by the storm. 
So Ramu's been protecting the island. That's what it sounds like. Until the prophesied day. Yep. When someone went, hey Ramu, why don't you let this one through? This one's important. <laughs> Oh, I say yes. This I must try. be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes Good our present you. lands as well as our future acquisitions. My feel gosh. free to have a look. I will in just a minute. My goodness, leave me be. Hey, kiddo. Yes. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> He's just chilling. Chillin' like a villain. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna say it. Just in case. Oh, you actually have bonuses down there. I do. Okay, you get rest bonuses. That was a kitty rubbing up against the <laughs> microphone. Look at the map. Yeah, we'll do that next. This is our world. Oh my gosh. Ooh, there's a lot to go through here. Okie dokie. It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Lord of guys. <laughs> ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first alighted upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. Interesting. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Fossils thought to be remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistala region. Okay. This is where Solheim Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. That's a According really cool legend, art. The fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. He's basically, um... Ah, oh crap. What's his name? I don't know. What's his name? Waving your hands around is not helping. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, Greek god. Was it Greek? Roman? Who, I don't know. What are we talking about? Bestowed fire upon humankind, stole fire from the gods, and gave it to, to humankind. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm not very well well versed in mythology. Necronomicon's evolution. Prometheus? Yes, that's the one. Thank okay. you. <laughs> He's basically Prometheus. Gotcha. Except that instead of the betrayal being that he took fire from the gods, the betrayal was that he got mad when people stopped worshipping him and he tried to wipe out civilization. Ah. Uh. At least that's my understanding of it. And I'm probably about to get either confirmed or corrected here in a minute. <laughs> The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disguy and Klain regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. Wow, they haven't pinpointed that. But they pinpointed 4.6 billion years ago. Solheim is a lot like uh, Allegan civilization. From 14. It right. was a, a very advanced civilization. And again, like I said, Ifrit got mad at them and kind of tore the whole thing to pieces. Gotcha. So mankind had to start over with their technological advancements. Hey, kitty. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Klain and Duskai is known as Telpar Crag. There you go. Mm -hmm. It is here that the War of the Astrals is said to have taken place. When Ifrit tried to reduce mankind to ash, the other gods fought back, and some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. I, I really want all of these different images. Yeah. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the War of the Astrals, was interred atop the Rock of Rabato. Okay. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber, nestled in the Gorvas Rift of Volup. 
<laughs> All these different names of things that I don't know. <laughs> the Gorge of Veloop. Well, that's in Niflheim. Gotcha. So that's why we were less familiar with the actual region names there. To this day, no one knows what became of the blade god, Bahamut. 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 Uh, they're very particular about that. <laughs> The Earth God Titan can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the disk of Kothis in the sky. Okay. As for the storm god Rama, legend has it he sealed himself away within Fosha Hollow in the sky. Right. The sea goddess Leviathan disappeared in the wake of the war. Some say she swam below the waves and slumbers beneath the city of Altitia. Okay. Some 2,000 years ago, the gods granted Somnus Lucis Kylum two gifts. The sacred stone and ring. With these in hand, he founded the kingdom of Lucis. In the centuries since, Lucis has managed to expand its territory while struggling to suppress a parasitic plague. Yeah. As of ME722, Moore's Lucis Kylum sits the throne as the 112th monarch of his line. Regis Lucis Kylum is King Moore's firstborn son and first in line to succeed his father. I'm not familiar with King Moore's. Mm, this is the first we've heard of him. Hmm. This is the first we've heard of Regis' father. Okay, I'm 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 better understanding the 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 map. Mm -hmm. Angel Guard, off the coast of Golden Key, is an uninhabited island that Lucians regard as sacred ground. Ancient texts tell of a monster known as Adagium supposedly sealed away within, but investigations into its existence have yet to provide conclusive evidence. Enterbrai. Soon after the establishment of the Kingdom of Lucis, House Fularei founded the nation of Tenebrae. The Empire began its occupation of Tenebrae in ME359, a move that was initially met with much apprehension. <laughs> in order to assuage the dissenters, the Empire preserved the Oracle's home of Fenestala Manor. This concession was partially made for political purposes. House Florey enjoys close ties with the line of Lucis. The Accordo Protectorate has developed into a bustling league of towns at the heart of maritime trade. In ME-606, the Empire won an important battle against the Allied forces of Lucis and Accordo, and in turn, annexed the Protectorate. The country is steeped in traditions and cultures that are incompatible with Imperial rule, so the Empire has permitted it a measure of relative political autonomy. They've had these territories for a very long time. Yes, they have. They've had Tenebrae for like 400 years, had Accordo for 100. 200. Yeah. Centuries after the founding of Lucis, a movement to revive the lost civilization of Solheim arose around the wealth oh. region. Leading the charge was House Aldercat, whose brave deeds brought about the rise of the Niflheim Empire. The Empire built upon Solheim's magic technology and employed it for military use. This new firepower helped the Empire fell its foes taking Tenebrae in ME-359 and Accordo in ME-606. As of ME-722, under the direction of Emperor Aedilus Aldercat, the Empire is developing new arms fusing Magitek with demons. How old is he? That's like 200 or 100 years old. No, this is in 7... This is 721. Oh, are we... He's Because he said in 720... I thought we were in 821. No, 721. We're in oh 721. gosh, I can't keep track of these names. <laughs> We're in 721. The first scene takes place in 734. And I think... I want to say... 7... 750, 760, somewhere around there is when the actual... Main game takes place? I don't know. Okay. I'm, it, it's in the guide. I'm sure if okay. you pull up the guide, it's actually got a, a timeline in there that probably has these dates. Gotcha. 
Vestiges of the ancient Solheim civilization can still be seen in the ruins of Piteus and Stilif Grove. Several ancient structures also dot the forest of the Fall Grove that encircles Castlemark Tower. Excavation of these various sites is currently underway. And is still underway 20 years later. <laughs> um But yeah, that's that's why that's why everybody was freaking out over like cross-examining absolutely every single tiny little detail of Pityos is because it was specifically stated to be basically the last um the last remnant the of last the, remnant of, Solheim. of Solheim gotcha like Stalif almost doesn't even count because it's in so much ruin but Pityos is like still almost in working condition <laughs> gotcha and demons in ME 501, during an expedition in the Uluwat region, the Imperial Army discovered Ooh, a new species known as demons. That's where the berries come from. Oh, what berries? Yep, because that's up near Tenebrae. Gotcha. That's where um, that's where Noctis had the dessert in the first place. This is completely unrelated lore, but <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Ignis couldn't figure out how to make it because it was not an ingredient that's native to. Lucis. Alright, that's it. Yep, that's everything. That was fun. That was fun. That was a lot of lore. This is really lore heavy, you guys. I'm sorry if you don't enjoy that, but that's what this is. <laughs> we enjoy it. We enjoy it a lot, and we're going to be examining every tiny little detail we can get our hands on. Like this one. Seven. This one, I think. Yeah. The Lucian soldiers' reliance on their monarch's magic is nothing new, nor do I expect the armed forces to switch up their strategy in the near future. What a thrill it would be to take down a god using the form of one of their helpers. Oh, he's so uh, 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 uh. There's a juke in my lap. He's being very snuggly right now. He wants things. He does. <laughs> All right, last piece of art here. We're familiar with this one though. Yep, that's in. Uh, that one's actually in Lucis. Yep, it's in Lucis, and it's also like. There's there's enlarged pieces of it on either side of the throne room doors uh. that you can actually go and look at. Um, because it's a, I mean, it's very much a Renaissance artist rendition. But you've got Leviathan and Ifrit here on the left. I think that's Ifrit. No, that might be Bahamut. Yeah, it's Bahamut. Ifrit's not actually in this picture. Leviathan and Bahamut on the left. Mm -hmm. On the right is Titan and Shiva and Ramu. Got it. And then the oracle at the top. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure who these three people are, actually. But then you have the demons at the bottom. Right. Maybe that's the uh, the kings of Lucis. Probably. Okay. Although I think they're actually standing next to the oracle. Oh, I see them there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, okay. I think, I think, I think those are actually supposed to be portrayals of the King's Royal Guard. The Crown's Guard. The Crown's Guard, yeah. Which makes sense because you had three party members. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then the King's Glaives, the Royal Arms yep. spread between the, the gods. Gotcha. It's a highly stylized depiction of the the overall themes of the game, but... <laughs> it's really cool, like you said, Renaissance style. Yep. Let's see what it says about it. Ah, oh, the things. king and his, and his men. There you go. The oracle, the hexathian, and the fiends. At center, we see what I presume to be Lucian warriors and the kings of yore. I've learned a great deal about the first king of Lucis. But I never knew he was second in line. It seems to depict a legend.
legend in which the Chosen King dispels the darkness. If that's true, does that mean Lucis intends to someday stand above all others? <laughs> Their trifling tales mean nothing in the face of our superior technology. Only we can restore balance to our world. So arrogant. I find it amusing that it seems like there was um, recordings for some of this stuff that was then replaced by Basifia once they had Arden and yeah. had more information. He's been manually updating the recorded information that they have on these exhibits. Mm. I find that kind of amusing. At the top of the painting, we see the Oracle herself. The bloodline of the Oracle is one of the oldest in Eos, originating with Eromirus Flore. Only they possess the power to commune with the gods. This painting depicts the Oracle as some goddess of light herself. She'd doubtless prove a powerful ally if she could be persuaded. It doesn't help that you just stick her in a stinking mansion and right. force her to... Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, here's an interesting point, though. Mm -hmm. She died. Yes. She didn't have any kids. She True. had siblings. Or aunts or uncles or somebody to help carry on the line. True. Which is probably where the Nox Fleuret comes from, as opposed to the Miris Fleuret. Good call. Good call. Because she's still part of the Fleuret family, but a different line is my guess. Right. Because, again, she died. Yep. And they would have made a point if they were kids. Yep. Yep. On the sides of the frame, we see the Hexathion. Conspicuously absent is the traitorous god of fire who started the Great War of Old. Perhaps developing a deeper understanding of the demons will bring us closer to comprehending their divine counterparts. But what if I were to find a way to combine those two disparate elements? So the interesting part is, they still call it the Hexathian, even though Ifrit is usually left out because of his role in Betrayal of Mankind. Um, another point, and I don't remember where I had heard this or whether or not it's actually true, but it's generally believed that Ifrit is the one who brought the Star Scourge in the first place. Aha. Uh -huh. As part of his revenge against Solheim for failing to worship him. Whether that be in the way that he would prefer or the fact that they turned their backs on him completely, mm. nobody's really sure. Mm. By my estimation, the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. What is that? Did you see that? No, no, no. Do it again. I'm sorry. By I missed that. By my estimation, part. the grotesque creatures depicted here are likely demons. Could this mean these monsters will be harbingers of the apocalypse? If only we could find a way to harness their power for ourselves. That thing in the middle. We've never seen that before. The Medusa-esque thing? Yes. Hmm. The, um, the, um, oh, what's her name? The, the snake lady. Yeah, the snake lady. The line of Medusa was either. chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the divine on their side, how could they fail? Mm. <laughs> uh. mm. What? Yeah, I thought. Melazine. Melazine. Yes. That's what I was looking for. There's something you should see. Come with me. I don't wanna. I don't like when you say things like that. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Raviton. No! If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. Nope. <laughs> need to gather more info. I need to see just how crazy you are before I continue following you. Oh, he's crazy. Could be this one, yeah? Yeah. Maybe? The messengers. Yes. While few written records referencing the divine host of messengers remain, our excavatory expedition... That's the same thing. ...to tell Park Crag has uncovered some interesting information via word of mouth while investigating the surrounding oh, yeah, area. Here we go. Here we go. 
Little else is known about the messengers, but I'm determined to discover more about these fascinating creatures. So Garuda would have been one that sided with Ifrit, according to this. I guess so. Because that's what they said. Mm-hmm. That, where is it? The followers of the traitorous, traitorous Infernian being all but erased from the annals of history. So, and Ignis yeah. specifically says that it's rumored that she was a messenger of the gods, but the information is less than reliable because there aren't a lot of sources. And we had gotten that from the Final Fantasy XIV crossover event. Right. About the Garuda. Mm-hmm. Because they, found a, they found a statue. Right. Okay. Cool. And she did come back. Mm-hmm. Noctis was able to summon her, and she decided to bond with him, for lack of a better right. term. She seems kind of, uh, kind of, um... Flighty? Flighty. Not <laughs> flighty, but... It's a pun, though. I know it's a pun, but that's Wishy-washy? not really the word. That, no. Unconvinced? No. I'm having trouble with words today. Never mind. She was very words. Yeah, she was words. <laughs> Ooh, down the rabbit hole we go. Oh, I don't like going down these tunnels, though. But rabbit holes. The music. That's Ifrit back behind there. I will bet you anything, it's Ifrit behind here. Yep. They've got him on ice! That Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep just like the legend said he'd be so we put him on ice. My Do you joke. think I you would that turn joke. him into a demon? <gasps> if you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. Oh, you crap. access 2,000 years of his oh. memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. Oh. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Things just, just got think serious. Just you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? He keeps oh. trying to play on the sensor of revenge that Arden doesn't mm. really seem to have, or is at the very least fighting. Come see the fruits of my magitech Which research. Makes me uncomfortable. This way. Because it makes him seem very manipulative. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them. Which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking Thank the you. door to a new future. This music keeps building. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? It's gonna be a fight, isn't it? Oh! Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is an arena. <laughs> Lucians? But how? Kunmi squad, Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting engagement. backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Or die trying. Um, yeah, that latter one is, that's gonna, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the one. Yeah. Oh! The Phantasm Bar and oh, Conjure Spectral Arms. Arms. Oh, jeez. So he, he doesn't he doesn't have an armager. Oh, look at him! Damned monster! 
Perhaps you ought to sleep away. Ah, jeez. We're all guard I see. I'm sorry, every time you do that, it's gonna freak me out. I like that. I like the spinning blades I have now. It's four. <gasps> Look at them all! I don't know. Well, I'm sure it'll tell you eventually. Do you hear the music? I don't. It's like this fucking string thing. Such power. There you go. You got it. I'm gonna say it's not letting me attack him. Blast! Yeah, you're yep. right. It did blast. <laughs> oh. Well. I think really, think they're gonna be able to hold him. Before he destroys everything. <laughs> He's angry. Oh, R1 and press triangle. Okay. Behold! Oh, it heals me. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Oh, apparently you're supposed to use it on the guards. Oh well. Oh, Infernian, grant me the power to take Somnus, his people, and his cursed kingdom, and burn them all to the ground! Oh, oh, oh! No! Oh. What did you say? Oh, he took his blessing by force! Whoa! Uh. He's got his answer. I was the one chosen to be king? Oh, now he's mad. Because before he just thought he was wrong. Arden. We just stand here. He'll never become a, a, a jerk, right? Forgive me. Huh? I defied the will of the gods and revealed to Somnus you had been chosen to be king. Huh? Huh? I never dreamt he would try to kill you. They knew them. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone so he could usurp the throne. 
Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Error! Oh, no! Error! Please! In the names of the gods above, fulfill your calling, Arden, and punish me for my sins! Error. Kill me! That's right, kill her. <laughs> Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. I... I can't. My calling is to save lives. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I can't. Not without you. <laughs> Come. Why not give the lady what she wants? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. this is a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to, to succeed. Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> I hate Somnus. I really hate Somnus. <laughs> That's also his interpretation of him, though, I'm pretty sure. No, I know. It's the little demon on his shoulder. Yeah. But this was still all Somnus's fault. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'll never forgive you, Somnus. This monster may not be able to destroy you, but I'll see to it that I destroy everything you built. <laughs> Hear me, gods above. No longer shall I supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path Thanks. is mine to tread. Alone. <laughs> That's not creepy or anything. <laughs> Is that the knife that he used to yes. stab Luna? The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitek infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylan succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. I do want to make um, an interesting point.
point here. They talk about the un untimely death of King Morse, but the point is also also made at some point that the kings of Lucis are not very long lived anyway. Because of holding because of holding up the shield. So the extra pressure put on Lucis and the fact that they had to scale their shield back and the stress that, that was being put on it is probably what killed him. And that's why, why Regis deteriorates so quickly. Well, guys, it's just me for a minute here. Betrayed by his brother and bereft of his beloved, Arden is burdened with the blessing of eternal life. His feelings of enmity towards the line of Lucis grow greater with each passing day as darkness continues to consume his body and soul. That's a really creepy image. Oh, welcome back, Jax. Ooh, are you okay? It's okay, just whapping my heel on stuff. It's good. <laughs> ah, Chupe's been fed, so he will... Fed. Well... He will meow less into the microphone oh, now. He has food. He just wanted his goodies. His treats once a night. Does not get them on time. Becomes insufferable. <laughs> he'll come and snuggle up here shortly and then he'll be quiet. Mm -hmm. Or he'll go pass out in the bedroom. Oh, dear. Fiery vengeance. Chapter 3. Attention, an enormous unidentified life form has appeared near the Citadel. The creature has begun to Ah, that's where we start. Is that, is that song? Is this a statue? <laughs> See, 734. Is this thing on? people of the kingdom of Lucis. Do forgive me for interrupting the festivities. But I must tell you, this day of rapturous reverie shall be your last. Call it divine retribution. It's one of the, uh, the you see all the false kings there. and fraudulent nations are fated to perish. Who is he? We've yet to ID him. Whoever he is, it's clear he wishes us harm. You stay here. I am going to put a stop to this madman. It was really cool to see him in his prime. Yeah. We don't get to see much of that. Well, time to set to work. Woof! Attention, all you this is your captain speaking. Code red, I repeat, code red. Oh, I was gonna... Okay. That was mine. The situation under control. That was mine. The wonders of technology. Oh, cars blow up! Where's your head? Oh, <laughs> given up the hunt already. <laughs> Mine? Oh my God. Have you identified the creature? Not yet. But we believe Paris, it to be did you hear that? Yep. A demon. But how could it possibly withstand the daylight? For now, help the citizens evacuate. The vanguard will take care of the giant. Absolutely, sir. The crowns guard is almost wiped out, sir. Target is still on the move. Special forces are on the way. Try to hold out until they arrive. Okay. Alrighty, come here, boys. I'm, 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 I apologize, oh, girls. You look like you've seen a ghost. Engaging the target. He's so strong. Sending backup. Don't let him get away. This is fun. <laughs> Like I said, it's kind of like playing Vader. <laughs> you're just like, you know you're powerful. L1 and press. Oh, I have text. Oh, Ipper has text. Okay. Oh. 
Tiraga! I pray you won't disappoint. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Knock yourself down. That was too close. Think you can kill me? I'd love to see you try. Currently engaging the target. Sir. Oh. One of the six gods from the Hexathian, Ifrit serves as a patron deity of fire. Though he once bestowed his burning wisdom upon mankind, the people's hubris inspired them to bite the flaming hand that fed them. Launching revolt that proved the catalyst of the War of the Astrals. In the end, the pyre burner proved powerless before the blade keeper's glaive and was laid asunder atop the rock of Ravito, where he has slumbered ever since. Members of the Defense Force, it traces its roots back to the Lucian Army of old. Unlike the Crown City Police that protect Insomnia or the Border Patrol that keep the peace in the, in the Perliers? Must be the, the shield. The combat ready Crown's Guard act as a special forces unit tasked with fending off outsiders who have found their way inside the wall. Claris Amicidia was serving as captain of the time of Arden's initial assault on Insomnia. So we're hearing. Gladio and uh, Iris's father. Yep. That's pretty cool. All arms, daggers, crossbows. <laughs> Every okay. time I cool. I sap a new one, one of us. I get. You're literally more. absorbing memories. Oh, yeah. Imagine, never know. I'm trying, yo. Scared. Goodness. He did this literally. You changed. Yeah, I did. It's the Infernian. It reached the Infernian. He did this literally increasing my uh, yes, damage modifier. Yes, sir. One of our officers seems to be controlling the Infernian. We can't get an idea on it. What? Mm -hmm. Find out who he is at once. Well, this is high as a goat. There seems to be some kind of disturbance. What's going on? Why? What? Ever do you mean? <sighs> now I need you to locate and destroy the devices amplifying the wall. As you wish, just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> now where in the world might those dastardly devices be? Naval a wall amplifier to seize control of the surrounding area. Check the map to view the location. It's basically all Tisha all over again. Yep. Royal Guard Station Roman. It makes sense because it's all magic based, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's one right here. I'm gonna go there. Yeah. I've marked the location of all the devices they're using to amplify the wall. They seem to be positioned on rooftops around the city. Find them and destroy them. With pleasure. I'll be sure to keep you abreast of my progress. <laughs> uh, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> Phantasma Leap! L2? That makes zero sense, but okay. Perhaps I'll take the high road. Heh. <laughs> it's funny. Maybe. He holds his hat when he runs! One just to your left as well. I know. I'm but sorry. I had this one more. <laughs> you did. You did. Whoopsie. Well, I don't take damage. There is no fall damage. Ooh. You can break it? I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's literally just being petty. I love that. <laughs> Mana font. Gotcha. This is one of the kings. Mm -hmm. The statue of one of the kings. Sure is. 
That was weird. Okay. Whatever works. <laughs> Apparently, um... Warp Strike is a lot more effective than just attacking it. Alrighty then. Okay then. The kingdom's defense budget is sure Okay. Let's get this over, shall we? It's over. Most interesting. It seems they've another line of defense waiting to deploy. I love this shadow step. It actually freezes time when you do it. A little bit, yeah. So it makes it a lot easier to dodge. Don't forget you have your turn, Oh, yeah. Hey, help. Did he say level three? No, he said, you who you free. Oh. <laughs> Circuit times one. Are you able to okay. use that AV for something? I don't know. I'm about to look. Oh, Ooh, gosh. look at the kitty. Alrighty, we're about one to go explore down. this sector. It doesn't seem to have had any effect just yet. Oh, shush. Keep going for now. I'm working on it. You had A plus, A plus, A, and A plus. And use those AP to activate nodes on the demon sphere. <laughs> There's a demon sphere? Yeah. Hi. Descension. Descension. I love it. Oh my goodness. Uh, conjure special weapons to wield in battle. Which we already have. Sideswiping. Oh, I guess. Shadow step and demonification. So these are ones I have already. Yeah. And then, here I got. Oh, I need to unlock more. Maybe meteor strike and flames of rage. You have 46 AP right now. Yep. And these are at 16 and 32. What's this? Increase maximum HP and MP. Uh, press down to convert all remaining MP into spectral energy. Oh. X after jumping to me. Double jump. jump. Double jump. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I think we're gonna do that. Yeah. Double jump is nifty. What comes next? Four particles when demonifying an enemy. That sounds useful. Let's go with that. 22 left. Okay. Uh, recover MP after pairing and attack and landing a successful counter strike. I'm not very good at that, so we're not gonna bother with, uh, bother with that just yet. Um. Uh, uh, what do you think? Um, I would use the different one. Different one? Yeah. Give us a greater range of abilities. Yeah. Once it beefs up all the way, it'll be really useful. Um, we actually still have enough left for an sure. HP and P increase. So okay. Might as well, yeah? Yep. 
Okay. Alrighty. Um, check your gear and stuff too. See if there's anything yeah, different. Gear. There's. Um. I'm well, not seeing anything. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's really cool looking. He's really cool looking. I'm guessing it's. I'm like, wait, what's the point he of this? He has insane honestly? damage. Look at him. Maximum health and MP. Mm -hmm. Maximum attack and defense. He's a god. That's true. That's a good point. He's got 100% fire damage reduction. Minus 99% ice damage reduction. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, one of the wall amplifiers has been destroyed. But why would he target them? Is this a nip attack? We haven't sighted any Imperial soldiers inside or outside the wall, sir. Yeah. And they must have sent him to do their dirty work. Stop him at once, sir! <sighs> Over here. That poor guy. Level eight. Yeah. Oh well. That was totally disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a top hat just just southeast of you. Yeah, over there. What's oh, a hat shop? A hat shop. It's a hatchet? You don't see it straight ahead of you? No, no, no. On, on your right. Right there. It's a hat shop. You can literally shop for hats. I get to buy hats? <laughs> Let's buy some hats. Oh, uh, safety helmet. Straw hat. Winter's cap. Ten oh, it changes his stats. Okay. okay. Now, now put on your hats. I want to put on a hat. This is hilarious. I love this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I didn't dress up. I don't like that top hat. That's a really ugly looking top hat. I mean, it looks fine on him, but it. Ooh. Straw hat. It gives him more MP, which I have a problem with. <laughs> it suits your playstyle. I want to put hats on it. <laughs> I, I don't think it would work too well. Oh, but I want to. Oh, a statue. Hi, statue. Keep on. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much fun. This is way too much fun. Oh my goodness. A signboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so chaotic. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> oh, destroying the items gets me more items to sell, too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Can we get to chain it? Go, yep. Nice. Do you see that? They all come in to attack him and he's just standing there. He's just like, oh, how terrifying. Oh, did you see his I see, I saw the wing show up. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the same music. <laughs> it's got ebony. Oh, Arden. Oh, Arden. Oh, Arden. Sounds like I have a new, uh, new piece of music to put some rain to. Maybe, because this is pretty chill. I like this. That was thoroughly disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Darren had a ball. Oh yes, you know he did. 
It's, it's facing uh, so north is, to the right. So yeah. we want to go this way. I hate the maps in this game. I really do. No, I actually want to go the other direction. Right. I want to go east. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Cat is bathing all over me. Yep. Where's your head? Oh. I feel like I'm skateboarding. Oh, that was a big one! Yeah, it was. Billboard. You just blew up a billboard. Yep. I did. Not angry mode. In times of crisis, they call upon the kings of yore to come to their aid. If they summon the old warlord, perhaps I'll see that long lost brother of mine. Ah. Uh, the old wall. Interesting, There's the new wall, yeah. which is the, the actual. Um, the actual thing the that dome. got up. But the old wall was literally the king's. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we got some stuff to gather up on, and then Top Hat Shop to explore. Top Hat Shop! <laughs> Things are going swimmingly. Don't tell me where to go. I was hoping you can continue unimpeded. I I don't He's know how he would. Fire, sir. He took out another one. The station reinforcements around the amplifiers, sir. Whoops. Where are you now? <laughs> In between buildings. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Why you would ever do that, though? Draw hat. Draw hat. Where's your head? Ha! Yay! Where where does he get his royal arms from? Because he's not using them. It, it's called the royal arms, but it's not the ones you see. They're not the same royal arms. I mean, he gets them later. Right. I mean, I mean it is. This is many years in the past. It's like thirty years in the past. But I mean, it's it's almost like they're all just duplicates of the same swords. If you look, you should skateboard. <laughs> I love skateboarding. Oh, apparently I can't go through walls though. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh, hi everybody. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's been fun. Yeah, We're been probably going to estimate really around fun. like two thirds of the way through the episode art. I DLC. would say probably. Oh, hi everybody. Well, better luck next time, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> next. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll continue this on another day, and I'll post on Twitter as soon as I know when that's going to be. Um, and of course, we'll get this all edited and put up probably toward the end of the week. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Are you having fun? Yep. All right. Well, we're going to let Rama have a little bit of fun while I close out the stream. I'm trying to get to the same point. <laughs> so, as I am always, being productive, I promise. As always. I more from you. Hope you guys are having a great day. Take care, and we will catch you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys! Ta-ta.